So the Copernicus uh, Climate Change Service will uh, deliver some uh, resources. So these resources could be uh, data sets, observations. They could be also uh, products, derived products. And they uh, can also be uh, tools to support decision making by uh, politicians at the European level or at the global level. So uh, at our disposal, we, we have uh, observations coming from the Sentinel uh, data. We complement it by in-situ data and we have also modeling uh, science at our disposal to combine together uh, all this information into products which are palatable by the uh, uh, decision makers and the general public uh, as well. So um, in terms of European dimension, there is already uh, quite uh, a number of activities done in some countries, not in all countries. So what Copernicus will bring in terms of uh, added value, it will pull these resources together, it will add value by combining all the best from the uh, different well, countries and will also help countries which don't have this uh, luck of having these climate services. So it's, um, um, it's a win-win situation, if you wish, because this information that we will capitalize on and add value from will be fed back to the national countries. I think the, the right word is really refinement. Um, it's going to do a bit, more, a bit more than the IPCC because uh, we are talking about an operational uh, infrastructure which will deliver uh, climate products um, in, a, in a way that is palatable to the uh, policy maker. It's not a scientific uh, dimension anymore, it is really oriented towards economic sectors which have been identified together by the Commission and, uh, and ECMWF which is going to operate the, uh, the service.